Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, Last a time middle, on. and an end. The Wolf Among Us. Ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Uh, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's... Crane. <gasps> Yeah, that's gonna be a mindfuck moment for Big B. That fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Big B, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. I'm gonna the wait a little bit. Of her. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for um, pageantry. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she
she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? What? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I'm not... We're not certain yet. I shouldn't have even brought it up. Oh, fuck off. Don't backpedal now. I don't care if you're not certain yet. Just say what you know. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but... Just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's discontinue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been... Recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? I, uh... 
I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! Constable? Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. <laughs> What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> that didn't actually kill her. Though we'll see. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart.
and try and get some rest. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but... I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A... A coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look.
What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I think it's better if you don't know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Updates on the funding under Shrine requested as I was playing in my last letter. The conditions here could do some improvement. Seeing some unrest from the residents, and have to admit, I can see why. This farm, the farm shouldn't be, not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be a priority. Well, it's bad. Dear Mr. Howard Crane, I'm writing to ask again what they please send someone to the fixed air conditioning our unit is burning up the, the apartment, and Pinocchio said that this skin is splintering. Means, but I assume it's something gross. I'd really like to fix the air like we asked you three months ago. I'd at the very least provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Blue Blue. You said pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't run out that room as, as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention, you've already promised me since I'm gonna fix the big crack in the glass in the front door. Guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried... No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, it was this just <laughs> isn't the time. Wasn't. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing! You're a secretary! He's the sheriff! And none of you were chosen to run this office! Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> Alright, let's just look on the bright side. 
We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so... chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect, and I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't want Bluebird going anywhere near this place. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know, what happened. We know what happened. Or how it happened. Why would she want to hear that? Well, can I... Tell you what? Can I just... I don't know. Wait here for a bit. Hey! Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Well, come on in, buddy. Friend. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? 
or what you say? Brent, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? There's no way to wake her up. Oh, uh, no. And anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there, that was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. To the dead. All right, now help me. Nope, he's gonna pass out. Grand. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> 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 What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh wait, I forgot. It's great you're here. Since you were the one who told us about it in the first place. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And none of it would have come out if Bigby hadn't have said nothing. Give me a break, like it's his fucking fault. She liked me, okay? There wasn't anything wrong with it. Oh, she liked him. All right, well, that changes everything. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh, yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gren. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Gren won't remember this. <laughs>
Oh, well, that wasn't intentional, but it worked. Do what you want. There's one of the Tweedles in the background. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Faith. Oh, at least you're honest. You just remember, whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. So don't have any more fuck-ups. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then wanna be the witch. But, which one? This is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. I'll head over to Tweedle D's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. 
Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. <laughs> You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure oh. it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. Ah. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. You know about this? Uh, no. I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. Beauty's in debt to the crooked man? hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. Th they're detectives, like I said. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. That's one person. No, please, just let me concentrate here. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. W what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. 
You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything to Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They shot at Snow White. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Look, Flycatcher, I, I know you like them, but they're a part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. <sighs> I, I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Mm. Oh, that... Dungeons are never good. for exactly. Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane, or the witch he was using. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. Butcher? What is this stuff? Sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Think about Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? Is that what you needed? I don't think so. But it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but... Well, Crane is gone now. I... I can't see why you couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... Thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... W we found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Anti Greenleaf. A G. This is it. I have to tell Snow. This is the place. There, there's a phone right over there. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. Yeah, me too. 
It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Who are you? Rachel? Who are you? Just so... I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? This is the witch. I'm sure of it. Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. This is her. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. That's her. I'm certain of it. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. I thought that's Crane, and he's been... That your mom? Uh-huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky-tonk. <laughs> no accounting for taste. <laughs> your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? I saw a spider of... Shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Hurts when you do it that fast. Aha, uh -huh, I was right. What? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. Am I good enough for you? I was right. It certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Please, Greenleaf, just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. There's nothing I know that would help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk, now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat. And I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Big B! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It 
makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? A moving truck's gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. Snow's not happy about that. This is by and far the correct option. Well, the most logical option, I should say. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? You decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know. Now! <laughs> Hey, you can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. Oh, my God. Big B. We don't. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I didn't. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please. Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But... I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. What happened to you? Were you always like this? Not always. It started as most things do, very, very small, nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Yeah. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. 
We're not gonna kill you. So quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. What are you saying? I'm not happy about this. Tweedles, hooray! Hi, what you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. Oh dear. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This was really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it.
you know, they just didn't know when to end. Oh fuck, it's always his axe. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a big case. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> Can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, uh, stay out of this. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. <laughs> well, this is Ow. a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Fuck. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you? Are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Well, all right, 80% players did not decide not to interrupt the snow. 40% players investigated the bar first. Looks like 30%, the other 40% other went to cranes. Hover clock a job, yeah, most people did. She burned at least tree, most people didn't. About 50-50 on who killed, killing Tweedle. Killed them. Interesting. Well, that was uh, episode three of the Wolf Among Us. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Be back with episode four at some point in the near future. See you guys soon. If you enjoyed, you know, as always, see ya.
what I think so far of the game, Crazy CW, uh, I really like it. It's really good. Um, I mean, it's not like you know the pinnacle of uh, from a game like gameplay standpoint. It's it's a solid. It's, you know, it's a point and click adventure game basically, with a few quick time event things, which is cool. Not nothing amazing. The storytelling, on the other hand, is fantastic. Uh, I really appreciate this more as just I appreciate the story in this more than anything else, and the gameplay doesn't get in the way of that, so I approve. So you know, as it it's more of an interactive story than a game, I'd say, and I'm really enjoying it, so. Yeah, I agree. That, that fact that it's an interactive story is not a bad thing in any way, shape, or form. It's quite good. All right, so... I am done with this episode as I said earlier. So thanks for watching the YouTube recording here, and I will see you guys soon with episode 4.